All right, welcome to the Panther Presser for Thursday, August 22nd. We are talking here with assistant coach Edward, Edward Pointer, or Ed Pointer, as we like to refer to you. Yeah. So, coach, I got to ask you first off, you were named the National Assistant Football Coach of the Year. How big of an award was that for you? Um, when I first got I was I was surprised. Uh, a couple people on campus congratulated me, and I had no clue what they were talking about. And they were telling me how I was being modest. No, I, was, I actually did not know. What, I didn't have a clue what they were talking about. I thought they were congratulating me on the season we had. And I'm like, oh, thanks, appreciate it. And they're like, you're being real modest. I'm like, oh, we we got to the playoffs, and I, I didn't have a clue until um, I actually found out. But um, when I found out, it, you know, once I received the award or anything, I kind of sat back and, and just looked at my journey to this point. I've been coaching probably about 24 years, and I look at where I started at. And to be able to um, get that award in my 24th year was a big deal, and I really appreciate it. Okay. You're the assistant head coach to the Panthers, and what is it like working or coaching for Dr. Alvin Parker? Um, it, it's great. Uh, he, he allows us to coach. Um, I've been on staffs where the coach, you know, the head coach stays over top of everybody. He allows you to coach. He trusts us to do our job. He gives us an assignment. He let us do it. We mentioned, um, we mentioned there's a lot of depth this season with the roster, and player rotation is something that VUU does, but maybe not as frequently that we've seen through other seasons. So how do you guys plan to approach player rotation and keep the team fresh and competitive throughout the season? Because you guys have a lot of depth. Um, and that's one thing I spoke to the guys about and I told other coaches. And in all my years of coaching 20-plus, we I've never been on a team with this much depth. So my goal is to try and figure out every guy on defense that we travel with or that's re ready to play to find out how they can help us and what their strong suit is and how we can implement them into our scheme. You spoke to the defense, and VU is definitely known for their explosive offense, but what are some key defensive strategies that you guys are implementing to keep the team well-rounded for the season? I think we did a really good job last year. Um, we finished in the top 10 in the country in 11 categories defensively. Really, the, the whole goal is to build off of that, and with the depth we have, we have we can do a little more versatility in what we do, but we're not going to change a whole lot of what we do because we were successful with it. And, if, and with having nine starters back from last year is really a plus. So everything's been going great. It, it's, it's just like, you know, just a refresher course in um, fall. Coach, we've only got four home games this season as opposed to five that we usually do. Does that affect your way of approaching the game at all? For, for the defense, no. I, I always tell the guys, um, one, there's two things that always travel, and that's the kicking game and defense. And I tell them, I don't care where we're playing at. If we're a good defense, we're a good defense wherever we play. You mentioned earlier um, the returning players and how the seat and how everything that you guys are learning is going to just basically be just a refresher. Um, with many players returning from last year's championship team, how are you leveraging the experience to mentor younger players and maintain the team culture? What we do on defense, we take our, our older guys, our more experienced guys, and, and then the new guys we have coming in, like our freshmen. We do kind of a – it's kind of like a big brother thing. So we'll match – I'll match them up with, with a younger guy. And sometimes the younger guys are a little intimidated because of everything that's going on, so they don't want to come and ask you questions. So I give them that big brother that they can go and ask them the, the questions they may be, you know, a little intimidated about asking me or any other coaches. All right, Coach, we thank you for being on the presser today, and good luck during the season. All right, thank you. I'm Jalen Mayo. I'm a redshirt sophomore, and I play cornerback. 
Jalen, welcome to the Panther Presser today. Now, the team is in the middle of the second week of training, second week of preseason practice. How is it going for, for you? Uh, it's going great. Uh, everybody's on one accord, defense, doing what we usually do, stopping the offense in practice, getting good stops, getting off the field. Cornerback is your position. How important is the defense going to be this year? Defense is going to be really important, considering last year people are saying that the uh, playoff loss was on the defense, so we're going to take pride in defense this year. Considering the team's rankings and all of the pollings for this season upcoming, um, how are you guys staying motivated and avoiding co complacency, considering you guys had such a great season last year? I won't really worry about the rankings. We just show up every day to get better. Okay, now tell us what are your individual personal goals for this season? My individual personal goals, the all uh, CIAA, all American year, anything, any award I can get at cornerback, honestly. What's your major, Jalen? Entrepreneurial management. I'm going to ask you why you decided to choose that as a field of study. Uh, I'll say because my dad is in the business with it, and if football doesn't work out, I have that as a backup plan. How long have you been yourself been playing football? I've been playing football since I was like six years old. You just long, fell in love with the game? Time. I've been in love with the game right since I started playing. As a returning player for this season, how are you stepping into your leadership role? And what is the advice that you're giving to younger teammates? Uh, some advice I give to younger teammates. Get mental when you're on the sideline. Get mental reps. It ain't the time to be talking, like not paying attention. You need to be paying attention to what's going on on the field. So when coach thinks about putting you in, you know what's going on, and you ain't out there lost. What made you, what made you decide to come to VUU? Uh, I'll say it was, only my, it was really only my only choice, honestly. Like nobody else really offered me coming out of high school, considering my grades. But God, you know what I'm saying? God got a plan for me. Everything going to work out perfectly. How important is it to represent BU outside of football on the field? It's very important considering I'm a big face on the defense. So it's like good to like help out the community and do extra things I can do. You're heading into Frankfort, Kentucky for the first game, Kentucky State. And it's going to be on HBCU Go Online. What do you know so far? Or do you know anything about the thoroughbreds? No, sir. To add to that question, how are you preparing physically and mentally for the upcoming Kentucky game and um, any other matchups, key matchups for the season? Just being a film junkie, I'm watching tendencies, quarterback, wide receiver tendencies, what they run on third down, first down, just being a student of the game. You're a Hampton, Virginia native, correct? Yes, sir. So, Phoebus High School. Yes, sir. I got to ask you, how different is college ball from high school ball? Uh, it's not. It's it's a difference. It's just the game was a little fast for me at first because I didn't understand what was going on. But once you understand the game, it slows down for you. Everything becomes easier, almost like high school. So you guys have a really strong class of um, recruits from this year, considering how great your season was last year. How competitive is practice and preseason? Um, matchups before you guys get into the uh, regular season games. How's, how competitive has that been? It's been very, very competitive. One scout team, no matter who it is, they give us the best look they can give us. We get better every day. All right, Jalen, thank you again, and good luck against Kentucky State. All right, thank you. Have a nice day. My name is Larry Jones, Jr. I'm a grad, and I play O-line. Larry, welcome to the presser. Let me ask you, the offensive line doesn't get a lot of stats, individual stats, but they are, they are a crucial part of the offense, especially with a running game like VUU. Is that, is that your approach to it? Well, playing offensive line is really a selfless position, really, because like you said, we don't get stats. Our accolades really come when we are successful on offense, like our quarterbacks when we protect them and our running backs when they get touchdowns, our receivers when they catch the ball in the end zone. So we just take pride in our other guys, you know, getting those achievements. Always I have heard whenever Jada Byers is interviewed after a game, the first 
people he thanked are his offensive linemen. And that goes a long way, wanting to make the way clear for running backs, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely, for sure. Like, when you see somebody of that status, you know, give credit to the guys that don't get that much credit, it goes a long way. We're wanting to put that extra effort into it. It gives us a little boost on the field as well. Now, we say you don't get a lot of individual stats, but are there any individual stats that you, that you get, like, say, pancakes or things of that nature, which don't show up in the number stats? Uh, we call them KOs. Uh, we have a grade sheet at the, um, at the games, and uh, – we love getting those stats. Uh, we love seeing them filled up on the stat sheet, well, our stat sheet after the games, and it's just something that gets everybody energized. Tell me a little bit about preseason and the chemistry with the team and um, what makes that team, what makes this year's team different from last year's championship team? I feel like we blended really well this year. You know, camp started out, everybody was around each other. I feel like everybody connected with everybody, no matter what year you were in, how long you've been here, whether you just came, I feel like everybody felt welcome. Larry, what's your major here at VUU? Uh, I just graduated with my accountant, uh, my bachelor's in accounting, and right now I'm going towards my data analytics uh, master's degree. Well, what do you hope to be after you graduate? Uh, I want your to, master's? Uh, I want to be a CPA at the very end. Um, I want to work my way up there, though, slowly. So um, I want to get a, into the accounting field, start off, work my way up, and then eventually take the CPA exam. Considering you're a returning player also, uh, what are you doing to enforce your leadership experience to the new members of the team? Uh, really just having a personal relationship with each guy, you know. I was a young player here. I started off here. Uh, I know how it is to be a first-time freshman, you know, on a college team. This is really different from high school, you know, because you're uh, not going to school and then going to football. You know, you're here for a little while before you actually start school. So just connecting with each guy, making sure that they know what they got going on, what we're here for and making sure they're good at the end of the day. Go ahead. Now, tell us what your personal goals are for this season. Uh, it would be great to be all-conference, all-American. Those are all great, but all of it doesn't matter unless we got that ring on our finger at the end of the year. Well, Larry, let me ask you this. You, were you here for the past four years? Yes. So you were here before the, before the uh, field turf? Yeah. Well, no, I came right as it was being built, so came COVID here. Came as it was being built, okay. Yes. But you were here for the pandem from the pandemic year on up to now. Yes. How different is it for you now as a, as a freshman? Uh, well, COVID impacted a lot of people. You know, we had to get the um, vaccines and everything. And uh, quarantine and the guys, you know, it takes away from what we have going on. It takes away from the chemistry. It takes away from, like, the knowledge of the game because they can't come to the meetings. They're not getting the reps in practice. Uh, now I feel like we're – Separated from that a little bit better. I feel like everybody's able to get the reps, like I said. They're able to be in film study better, and uh, they're able to have more focus because they're not in quarantine. We're going to go left a little bit. With the events like the Willard Bailey Classic and other community-driven games on the schedule, how does the local fan base and support from the community contribute to your team's energy and performance? It uh, seems like every day when I'm walking around with Virginia Union gear on, I get stopped by somebody that says, you know, congratulations on last season. I'm wishing y'all the best for this season. It just feels good, you know, having, having that Richmond pride, you know, in the team. And uh, seeing more and more fans come each game to home games is really just an extra chip on our so shoulder, you know, extra support on our back. For the first time in 21 years, VUU is entering the season as defending CIAA champions. How big of an incentive does that make it for you guys to repeat? Uh, we go into each season the same, in my opinion. Um, that we have the, goal, the same goal each year, so I feel like going into each season, we you know, prepare the same because at the end of the year, we want to have that hardware on our finger. You know, but you know, going in as the favorites, we just got to prove that we're, we're the best team. All right, Larry, well, thank you for being on the presser today, and good luck against Kentucky State and the entire season. Thank you.